got water that you're pushing this way, and it's coming back, and it's coming from the back. You're, you're throwing a totally different dynamic of movement uh, into this app. And a lot of it's going to struggle with their core. Okay? So, the movement to support things. Uh, the first thing I typically do with an individual is a core hold. Uh, just really get them used to being in water and working some core. Um, stand them in a good stance, and then I'll have them pull their umbilicus to their spine. Okay? Uh, and what that'll do is that'll just lock your lumbar hip pelvic complex into place. Okay? So we'll just do a core hold. Okay? Just try to pull it. So we're saying pull, 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 pull it back. But they have to be able to talk to me and breathe at the same time. Okay? You don't want them to just hold their breath as they're pulling in. So you have to be able to pull and talk to me because I'm communicating with you on the side. Okay, and once we do that, um, about three or four times, then we'll get ready to do some movement type things. We'll grab a Swiss ball, uh, a little small Swiss ball, and we'll just hold it here. We'll just cradle it, and then we'll just start doing like some ab crunches. Okay, just really get them going. When you have a big Swiss ball, I mean, the buoyancy of the ball going to be really difficult to push it down. So we're just going to work and just get some ab crunches going, get them loose enough. Uh, another thing we'll do is we'll use those bars. These bars here come into the pool uh, as, as a safety measure. Uh, you can put one on each side, you can put one up front, you can put one on the back. So they can go here or they can go across. We'll do low ab crunches on it. You know, we'll stabilize it here. We'll bring your legs up. Another good core exercise is to even sit them on the ball. Put the ball underneath them, sit them on the ball, and now, if you think sitting on a Swiss ball is difficult on ground base, they'll try to walk. Okay? What that's going to do is that's just going to activate uh, your body. You're going to get a little arms in it. So now we're loosening up. We're getting, if you can just sit here, then you're good. It took me a good year to, to buy two of that, but that, that was pretty good. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll start moving to some rotational things with the wood chop. Uh, without a higher tone, we'll just go just flat hand. You're going to get resistance coming this way. As soon as you turn over, then there's no resistance. So we'll just work here. The only thing that's moving is I'm rotating right, right across. We want to just go with our resistance to the right, or resistance right, no resistance. Okay. As you continue to progress, we'll move to the hydro tones. Once we're really going, you may want to snap your stance, okay? because you're going to need some stability as you're coming across. You push the water. My, my coaching point, my teaching point when I'm in the pool is move water. Okay? Because that's what you want to do. Move the water, move the water. But once you get to moving, you just you have, they have to make sure they keep in their mind the water's coming right back at you. Okay? As we really get going, and you're returning some guys back or gals back, and you want to work even with your fitting mechanics, now you can push the water and swing through. Okay? So now I'm adding another dimension to it. Uh, I was just speaking to Eckstein there when we were going over some hitting mechanics and that it's not much of your hips that's really moving, it's that back leg that's, that's turning through. So you can even throw that in there while you're doing the good job. You can go over here, They're both sides, and you move more. So once you get there, you can get them here. Okay? And you really activate the hips and get some good hip flexion and extension there as they're working through their wood chops. Uh, we'll do the wood chops high and low. You know, we'll go high and low wood chops, working up high and back down. Low and high. Uh, another good one um, is a box pattern. And now you're really going to incorporate every single complex in your abs. All we're doing is making a box. So now we're incorporating everything. We're getting a little back as we come up. Working a little bit of back, and now we're working some rotation, pushing down, coming back across, or up. Okay? 
Okay? So now we're going to hit every single plane of motion with this wood chop. We'll do uh, figure eight path. We'll do it either horizontal or vertical, in which we have a hydro tone. And we're working to figure eight horizontally, or we're doing a figure eight vertical. Okay? Uh, which is, once you get going, uh, doing the one that's vertical, I mean, you're kind of all over the place. I mean, you're going to have to have good stability and good control. Definitely 